What's going on, everyone? Jeremy here from The Quartering. And before you get angry, I, I'm going to try to forget that, uh, you know, my loyalties to Steven Crowder here and, and do my best to remain impartial. Clearly, Steven has wronged several people. I mean, you have a lot of people coming out, you know, at some point, and you have you know all these ex-employees coming out and saying they've been wronged. At least there's some smoke there, so to say. But uh, I do think, and I've learned this now um, the hard way, that the infighting is bad. Um, and I hope ultimately that both of them will get back to the task at hand, and that is finding literally anybody. Can we all agree on this? It will be better if. Steven Crowder and Candace Owens were fighting against Joe Biden and fighting to support a candidate that will unseat him from the presidential office. Uh, it would be much better that they focus on that as opposed to this infighting and taking caddy pot shots back at each other. And they're both guilty. Let me be very clear. I think Steven addressing his divorce is 100% fine. I, I guess he obviously had to do that because it was bubbling up. I think including the part about Candace Owens there didn't make any sense. Um, do I think that Candace was insinuating that she knew about his divorce and that she may divulge it? Yes, I do believe that. And um, everything about her character up until this point um, wouldn't tell me any different, including now last night, she insinuated that essentially that there was some infidelity there. She insinuated, and I'll show you the clip, that, oh, Steven Crowder had DM'd her to tell her how nice she looked. And, and like, the way it was worded was uh, very, in, in, it was clearly to impl imply that he was, like, trying to come on to her. And she's like, well, I didn't respond to it. Um, I don't like this. This is bad for both of them. Steven's trying to build a media empire over at Rumble. He should focus on that. And Candace works for probably the most powerful conservative media outlet in the world. I do respect her being loyal to the Daily Wire and being, you know, and being fear and fiercely defensive of them. Um, but now this lawsuit that I'm going to sue you, I'm going to, it's a bad look, uh, I think for both of them. Um, but let's, let's get into it. Um, on a lighter note, um, you know, unlike those woke corporations out there, um, Mother's Day is around the corner, and my company, Coffee Brand Coffee, has put together several gift boxes to make gift giving super duper easy. It comes in a nice, clean, uh, glossy box, so you can just gift it to them just like that. You don't even have to wrap it. We've got this one. Uh, these things sell out, so you're going to want to pick them up quick. This one features sea salt milk chocolate caramels, which are like right here, um, milk chocolate pretzel twist, chocolate covered espresso beans, and our Colombian roast, roasted fresh on demand, available whole bean or ground. We've got the favorite kids edition, which adds even more candies on top of it. Or if you know what mom likes to drink, maybe she's a tea drinker or a cocoa drinker, or you, she likes a light roast, dark roast, she likes flavored. You can click customize on the bottom and you can pick exactly what you want to go into the gift box. You can pick our cold brews. You can pick our double caffeinated, whatever they like. You can get all of our flavored coffees are available. All of the candies are available in the gift box builder. Build your own, make it really personal. Promo code mom will save you 10% and, uh, you know, order it now, get it out of the way. Got a mom, got a mother-in-law, order two of them, done. Candace Owens and Stephen Crowder feud intensifies over extortion and defamation claims. This is by the Publica. This is my website uh, by uh, Haley Kennington. The online conflict between conservative commentators Stephen Crowder and Candace Owens has escalated. Crowder told his audience Tuesday on Lauder with Crowder show that he and his wife, Hillary, had been going through an increasingly, quote, horrendous divorce since 2021. I don't care about that. None of my business. Um, he suggested he kept the issue quiet for far too long, but other people behind the scenes knew about the proceedings, quote, some, not all, but some position of them in positions of power, influence, and leverage knew this. They also knew the safety of my children, including keeping it private. So if you're familiar with the idea of extortion, then you know the feeling well, some of these threats were so thinly veiled that I'm frankly surprised uh, you didn't all guess immediately. And he shows a clip of Candace Owens very clearly insinuating something in his life is, you know, t going tumultuous. 
does she say a divorce outright? No, but she does insinuate. Um, and I'm assuming that was a message directly for him. Like, Hey, I know he knew she knew it was, it was bad, but it was in the heat of the daily wire versus Crowder thing. So whatever. Um, then she adds that people should not condemn him, but pray for him. You know, Stephen purports to be Christian. I'm, I'm sure at this moment, if it's my place to say more than that, but if you know, if, uh, if I feel in further defense, something should be said. So essentially saying, this is a threat. This is her saying, well, Stephen, I know this thing about you. And if you keep coming after Daily Wire, I'm going to say it. I don't care if you're a Candace Owens fan or not. You have to admit that. And you may feel like she's justified. She probably felt like she was justified. And I don't know because it's not my job. I'm not defending Daily Wire. I feel like people would probably be pretty salty um, and want to defend their, their place that are paying them millions of dollars a year. Uh, though not said outright, Crowder, Crowder appears to feel this clip from Owens was a form of extortion. I don't know if it was an ext I don't think extortion is probably the right word there. Um, I feel like it was a threat, but extortion, I don't know. I, I don't know. I'm not a lawyer. After playing the Owens video, Crowder took aim at the self-styled Christians, conservatives, and allies. He said that there had been demands and threats behind the scenes. He used this information to embarrass him and his wife. Well, here's the thing. I, I don't love that. I think he just should have addressed his divorce and got right on the show. I think most Crowder fans would probably agree with me on that. I've got a lot of love for Steven. Uh, he's never wronged me, but I'm willing and I'm open to believe that it's happened to someone else. Maybe what Dave Landau said is true. Okay, I don't know. I wasn't there. All right. So Dave fans, you know, I've never said he was lying, but I'm saying I've just said I wasn't there. Um, this Candace thing is happening right out in the public where now um, she has threatened to sue him for defamation, which is ridiculous because in order to sue for defamation, you have to show actual financial damages, which, of which Candace Owens has had none, obviously. Um, that's not how defamation lawsuits work. Um, however, maybe she could trump some up, something up. I don't know. Maybe she lost some sponsors. She'd have to prove that. Maybe that happened behind the scenes. Unlikely. Okay. Um, so Candace, of course, tweets this. Um, then uh, the follow-up tweet, Owens Tate Crowder and accused him of using his children as a human shield to stop people against his divorce. Okay, fine. Uh, but then uh, Dame Pesos clipped this. Today, Candace Owens said she will sue Crowder. It's also issued an open invitation to Crowder's wife to talk about their divorce. I mean, this is like the thing where like Candace probably had a right to be mad, but literally bring inviting his wife on her show. Like, dude, that's like daytime talk show TMZ stuff. That's something I might do. <laughs> that's not Daily Wire. Um, and then, you know, he's yeah. now upping the ante and suggesting that I extorted him. I will not take that lightly, okay? I am not Hillary Crowder. And so what I did this morning after- By the way, that's a shot at his wife. After this clip was sent to me, is I contacted a defamation lawyer and I am sending Stephen Crowder a cease and desist. And I'm going to demand a full-throated retraction- Not gonna get it. To the idea that Candace Owens threatened him or extorted him. So here's what I would like to do. I would like to invite Hillary Crowder onto my platform because she doesn't have one and because- See, this is just low. I mean, I don't know. If you like Candace, can you explain this? Like, dude, really? Is that what the Daily Wire is going to be doing now? Bringing on people's ex fiancés to drag them on their platforms? Like, I, I got a a nothing but respect for the Daily Wire. I mean, I'm trying to do the same thing with the Publico, okay? They are trailblazers. They are amazing. They have a lot of great personalities there that I like a lot. But this feels like a bridge too far. Like, I'm going to publicly invite your ex-wife onto my show. Like, come on. I, I, this is just such a bad look uh, for conservative commentators in general. Because her ex-husband apparently just used his to insult her, to say that he picked the wrong woman. I find that to be really despicable. Why? She left him. He clearly did. I mean, I don't know. It was that, is that, I mean, that seems like fake outrage. So Hillary Crowder, if you are watching, you are more than welcome to come on my show and to talk about 
what's actually going By the way, I don't know Hillary Crowder, but I assume she's going to give that a hard no. Um, you know, I think that Candace saying that he was too scared to address Owen Benjamin, so he just randomly pretended that I outed his divorce. Real tough guy. Look, I don't I know Owen used to work for him. Owen took credit for leaking this. It was a public record. It was always going to get out there. I don't know Owen. I don't want to go down that road. He's never wronged me. I don't know anything about his history. So in the interest of saying, hey, maybe Steven shouldn't have brought Candace into this, I'm not bringing him into this because I don't know him. Um, but also there's some, you know, this part I thought, you know, here Candace accuses Steven of essentially trying to hit on her. Say here, first and foremost, if you're a person that watches his show, how do you not see that he is so obviously acting? and that he is a very bad actor. Do you feel bad for him when he says that? When he says, "Are you fam if you're familiar with the idea of extortion, well, if you are familiar with the idea of extortion, you should realize that that video that he had just showed of me wasn't that. Nobody threatened him, nobody- She absolutely did threaten him. She said, I know things about you that I will release should I feel the need to. Those are her literal words, okay? Now, is it lawsuit worthy? No way. Should Steven have included her in his video? No. But he made demands behind closed doors. His insinuation that I knew about his divorce before he decided to attack the Daily Wire is a pointed lie. Let me tell you what actually went on behind the scenes. Steven Crowder on election night was our friend. He was on the backstage with all of us laughing, having a great time. He even sent me a retrospectively very flirty. There you go. So the man said you look nice that night. By the way, Stephen compliments women all the time. But Candace is painting this like he was hitting on her, right? And then she totally didn't respond because, by the way, I think she's married anyway. Um, so, you know, whatever. But, like, come on, Candace. Message thereafter on Instagram about how nice I looked on election night, even though I didn't respond to it. Um, thereafter, obviously, he attacked the Daily Wire. He decided to record his friend. I don't know. I mean, I understand if you're a fan of Candace, but like, I think this is just who Candace is. This is just a bad look for everybody uh, in um, the conservative commentator space. You know, people are dredging up, you know, social autopsy from back in her days. Well, she's calling people an actor. Well, you know, in 2014, not that long ago, she was a leftist and was all down to dox people who said mean things online. People change and people can change, but you know, I think a lot of these people are actors and I'm not sure I would be picking at it. It's just bad for everybody. Um, insinuating like his, just a, an uh, innocuous compliment was some sort of nefarious thing. That's a bad look. Everyone needs to just get back on the Bud Light boycott. Everybody needs to focus on that, not this stuff. And by the way, they both did it. So I disavow both of their behaviors, okay? I don't like it. Let's get back on task. I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure you pick up your Mother's Day gift box before we sell out. Get your gifting handled before the day, before you're running around. Especially if you customize it, you can make it really thoughtful because you know they like this or that, or you pick this, you can tell the story. Oh, strawberries and cream and blueberry cobbler are their best sellers. I thought you'd really like that. Go ahead and get that promo code MOM, save 10%, and we'll talk to you again real soon.